Happy New Year, folks. Happy Saturday. Happy first week of the new year. First Saturday of the new year. We are doing some contenders football. Now let's pick your team eight on the sixth. Big thanks to Sanford. Last spot mojo Ravens, and there's everyone else. All right, good luck to everyone. I appreciate everybody getting in. Another contenders break already on the site. Um, it's still relatively early in our broadcast, so we could do another one of these if you want to. I think um, I think it's already down to like twenty some odd teams. So check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are not at our. Um, we are not. Uh, at our last case yet of Contenders football, but we are getting close. So if you have not gotten into Contenders yet, don't miss out. All right, so there's one, two, three, so there's all 12 boxes right there, right on your screen. Good luck, everybody. And settle in, it's gonna be a kind of a long break. Good luck. Joseph John saying that, am I three for three on hunt redemptions? That's good, I like that streak. Well, we are watching, uh, it is wild card weekend, folks. We are not live on Sundays, but we, I'm here today. We already saw the first game on the AFC side of things with uh, and the Titans with a comeback and a nice win for the underdogs. The Titans were, uh, well, the Kansas City was minus nine. And so Tennessee not only covered, but they won, which is crazy. The game was not was under 44, though. 43 points, actually. In this game, we're watching, uh, we'll watch the Rams hosting the Falcons. Rams hosting the Falcons, the Dirty Birds. Rams are minus six. And the over-under is 48 and a half on this one. And <laughs> Rick's like, I was so wrong on that on that Titans game. Man, I mean, it seemed like it was going the right way, but then it just kind of fell apart for the Chiefs. Um, you know, the Titans kept battling. Eric stopped by, Rick, and he, he was definitely gloating. He was happy. In this uh, particular game, the, the Falcons-Rams game, you know, uh, just just for fun, for entertainment purposes, we like to talk a little bit about the lines and about Vegas and all that sort of stuff. And we, uh, and, you know, I like to make some very very small wagers on some of these games. I took this. I took the Falcons plus six. Uh, so I'm taking underdogs. I took Falcons plus six, and I took the. I also took money line on the Falcons plus one ninety. I also took the over um, at forty eight and a half. Took the over. So we'll see what happens. Um, I had KC winning. I had I had them covering the minus nine. I lost that one, but I did get the under though. I did get the under. All right. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Starting off with playoff ticket. That's out of two forty nine. That goes to the Colts. That'll be for TJ. We'll kind of breeze through these as quickly as we can here. And our first autograph is, nice, NFL Inc. Cameron Hayward. 127 out of 199 for Mike Bobby and the Steelers. Nice. There you go. Congrats on that. It's a strong one. Little little new guy mojo. I believe that's SWAT, I think. We're watching him right now, Rookie of the Year contenders, Cooper Cup, out of 199. 
Oh, there's SWAT right there. Rams, that'll go to Derek Slavic. We have, wow, right out of the gate, rookie ticket autograph, Deshaun Watson. There's a little bit of fuzz on that corner. Deshaun Watson, rookie ticket autograph. That goes to the Houston Texans, Darji. Deshaun Watson got it out of the way. There you go. You can watch the rest of the break stress-free. Nice hit. Congrats. We've got rookie ticket auto, Keenan Cole. Hey, you're welcome, Darji. Let's get these guys here. Uh, oh, yeah, um, and York, yes, I believe he was kin. If I'm not mistaken. All right. Yeah, Deshaun York also saying that uh, Deshaun Watson is almost a shoe in for comeback player of the year next year. I know, right? Championship ticket autograph, Brandon Williams. 8 out of 49 for the Ravens. Last spot mojo for Sanford. Nice. Darji saying he's going to enjoy that pizza and the adult beverage even more now. Nice. And for the Saints, playoff ticket autograph, 4 out of 49, Trey Edmonds. York, uh, Josh York is a big Saints fan. Josh, what are your, uh, what's your predictions for tomorrow's game? You have, a, you have a score prediction for us? Nice start. Oh, for contenders, we usually have a, a Mac count. There you go. Any Mac autographs. We have the over-under on Max at three and a half. So no, no Max yet. Mac Hollins, Marlon Max, Mac Browns. So we'll see what happens there. All right, next box. Uh, yeah, I'll do that box. TJ taking the over on Max. You know, I took the over twice. I didn't get it. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to... But I'm, you know what, TJ? I'm going to take the over again. So York's saying... York's worried. Teams that sweep regular series are 13-7 in the matchup. That's good. Yeah. Everyone talks about, oh, it's hard to beat a team three times in a row, but it's actually more common than you think. But Marshawn Lattimore has never faced Cam Newton, so that is good too. But Saints are without A.J. Klein in the middle. Steel Kern saying over on Max. Actually, let me keep, I think both TJ and Michael Gluge are in the break. So TJ has the Colts. He's taking over. Gallucci has the Redskins, at least that's one of your teams, with the over. So York's worrying. He thinks it'll be a surprising slugfest. If the Saints win, he thinks the score will look like 26-20. Around there. Kamo saying if we get Teo. If we get the same tail as last game, we'll be all right without Klein, but it is a big miss. Well, the Saints have certainly become such a, a, a much more balanced team. That's what makes them dangerous. Offense is balanced with that running, uh, running game with Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram. The defense balances out the entire team. All right, next box, folks. Good luck. I think that, that game should be one of the more exciting games of the weekend, I think. 
All right, our first autograph. We got Kyle Slaughter for the Vikings. That'll be for Brian K. Oh, these round number cards will randomize left and right, unless they're uh, specifically serial numbered, and then we'll randomize them between those two teams. Devonta Freeman. I'm watching the game right now. Devonta Freeman. 93 out of 249. Actually, I'm just going to take these right here. It saves a little bit of time. We'll top load all of those uh, a little bit later. I want to also have the ESPN game cast up on this. Uh, Falcons drawing first blood in this game. 3 nothing. This is not going to help my over. <laughs> all right. Good luck, everybody. There's legendary contenders Drew Pearson, 16 out of 99. That's for the Cowboys. That'll be for James S. We got playoff ticket Joe Williams, 19 out of 99. 1999, that's Prince. Niners, that goes to James S. There you go. Jock Shorick saying, great news for the Saints that the only real weapon the Panthers have is Greg Ol. Well, they got Christian McCaffrey, too. But, yeah, and the Saints give up the fewest yards of tight end of the NFL. Yeah, that's a, maybe a daily fantasy tip right there. Uh, yes, Josh York, I do remember your, cam your crusade. These points, if we get more of these, we'll randomize them as one lot to one person in the break. And, hey, speaking of the Saints... Rookie of the Year contenders. That's legit. 33 out of 99, Alvin Kamara on card autograph. Lights, Kamara, and action for Cruz. Nice. There you go, man. We'll see him in action tomorrow. We've got the Jaguars, rookie ticket autograph, Keelan Cole for the Jags. That'll be for EA Sports. It's in the game. His Titans beating the Chiefs today. He is happy. Uh... Josh Rourke has the perfect question for me. If Breeze is consistently disrespected because he's a – hold on. Let me show you the Mike Allstott first. Nice Mike Allstott, Buccaneers, Justin Gutting. Nice one. I haven't seen one of these inserts yet. Super Bowl auto. Because he's a product of Sean Payton's system, why isn't Brady also considered so since Belichick is 14-6 and six without Brady? Well, you, t you tell me. <laughs> Brady has chips. I think that's that's one of the, that's one of the things. I don't know. I mean, I personally, I, you know, when it comes to that conversation, like, like, is so and so better without this or that person or whatever the case may be? I actually don't care about that conversation. You know, I'm just like, eh. because I just, I just, I just, I just go. I just go, well, you know what? I mean, football is the kind of sport where there's so many moving parts that, you know, quarterbacks need coaches and coaches need quarterbacks. Like, I don't I don't feel like I have to separate, you know, uh, oh, would Brady be better without Belichick or with Belichick or vice versa? I don't like, I don't really play that argument. And it really is not, like, I don't know. It's it, it's a conversation that, that, that I think... It's like a, whenever I hear on a sports talk radio or stuff like that, it's a conversation that doesn't really like interest me, you know, because I think there's so many moving parts in the game of football that, and, and including parts that, that offensive players have no part in, like the defense, you know what I mean? So, so many things can change. If you have a good defense, maybe you're not pressing as much, and maybe you're not forcing passes to try to, you know, score more to compensate for your defense. There's all these little things 
that 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 happened. You know. Yeah, Jorg's saying I just don't believe that when you start peeling back the numbers that he's the greatest of all time. But see, I think people, most people, make that con make that point about Tom Brady simply because of chips. I think that's what it is. It's kind of it's sort of it's sort of like the uh, it's sort of like the Co the Kobe Lebron argument, right? Although they're completely different players, but Kobe Lebron argument, it's just like, well, Kobe's got chips. And it's like, yeah, I mean, but. <laughs> So, but I, I think basketball, you, you can, you can, there's, there's more, there is more individual influence. It's still very much a team sport. I'm not trying to diminish that, but, you know, basketball, you have, what, five, five players on each side playing. And so an individual can make more of an influence, more of an impact on a game. Well, football, there's 11 people on each side. You know what I mean? So it's just like, what are you going to do? Um... You know, sometimes there's a lot of things that are just out of your control. Receivers, linemen, running game, you know, offensive coordinators, this and that. There's just, you know, and I think it's hard to really, I think it's hard to really debate. That's what I think. Alex Smith, not an autograph, but a championship ticket. 42. What do the Chiefs do now, ladies and gentlemen? What do the Chiefs do now? Is it time for a change? There's Calvin Johnson, legendary contenders. That is out of 25. 20 out of 25. Nice. We'll top load those lower number of parallels. G Lo is a Chiefs fan. Depressed. Well, where do you, I mean, you know, I know it's still fresh, I know the pain is still fresh. But what do you do? You know, you send Alex Alex Smith to the uh, Alex Smith to the Browns. There's Carlos Henderson. Just go. Oh, cracked ice. Carlos Henderson, one out of twenty-five. Aaron Murray with the Denver Broncos. Nice cracked ice. Carlos Henderson and some Oppo Joe Mojo as well. No, I'm a Raiders guy. Alex Smith going to the Browns. Kyle Kramer saying they need to move on from Alex Smith. There's Chad Williams, championship ticket autograph, 20 out of 25. TJ agreeing with Kyle, saying you got to move on from uh, Alex Smith. Maybe he's not the answer. You know, like, you can look at some guy like like Matthew Stafford and, like, maybe, you know, maybe with that arm that Stafford has, you know, he can he can deliver a sort of fourth quarter type of comeback. Right. G-Lo, who's a Chiefs fan, saying Smith doesn't take chances. Uh, Akello Witherspoon. Josh York arguing that Alex Smith was in top five in every major category this year. Maybe he's a good regular season guy, but when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, it doesn't seem as if, I don't know. Well, they have to try something different, right? The Chiefs have to try something different. He led the league in 50-plus yard passes. Well, it helps when you have Tyreek Hill. <laughs> Tim Williams, rookie ticket auto. That goes to the Ravens, Sanford. I don't think I don't think uh, last spot Mojo. By the way, Sanford, thank you. I don't think Alex Smith is a bad quarterback, but I think at some point the Chiefs may have to think of some sort of some sort of uh, they got to switch something up. Maybe some sort of change. There's Gerald Everett, rookie ticket autograph. But yeah, there's got to be some kind of change. Yeah, maybe it's a change from, from Andy Reid.
There's Josh Malone. So the Rams auto going to Derek. The Josh Malone auto going to the Bengals. That's for Justin Gutting. Right. Yeah, whether it's Alex Smith, Andy Reid, offensive corner, something has to happen. This is true. Something has to happen. Because, you know, they have great regular seasons. Yeah, Josh is saying, York is saying, it's like, it's like, it's like Philly all over again. Nice box here. Next one. Adam Kupperin saying, hey, I'd be fine with the Jets picking up Alex Smith. Don't think he's the, the he's the issue. Actually, Jets would be a nice team for Alex Smith. Yeah, Adam saying maybe it is Andy Reid, but it just didn't seem like the defense couldn't get the stops when they needed it today. That's true, too. Right. No, I'm not I'm not blaming the loss on Alex Smith either. That's not what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, Kelsey getting knocked out was a huge loss. As Kyle Kramer, lots of drops. Defense, the team should have blown out the Titans, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, like, yeah, I, I, I agree. Like, I think... Uh, like, I, I think it's hard to really unpack everything that happened right now. But, right, and yeah, Gilo saying a lot of things had to go wrong for the Chiefs to lose, and a lot did. I, I agree. You know, I'm not trying to, like, I don't quite know who is exactly at fault yet. But I think it's a combination of a lot of little things adding up. You know, so, but something has to change. I, I guess that's the argument I'm making. Something has to change. As a Raiders fan, doesn't make you a little happy to see the Chiefs melt down. You know, I, I, I don't hate the Chiefs as much as I hate the Broncos. If the Broncos melted down like that, I would be, I, I would be giddy. <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, the, the Chiefs. I don't really mind the Chiefs that much. They're certainly rivals, but, but um. You know, I don't want them winning the Super Bowl or anything like that. But, no, I don't have any hatred for them, really. If it was the Broncos that melted down like that, absolutely happy. So, uh, there's, look at this hooker. TJ Malik hooker. Nice one for the Colts. That'll be for TJ. Travis Rudolph playoff ticket autograph. 76 out of 99 for the New York football giants. That'll be for Karen with Big Blue. More points coming up. That'll be combined with that and winner take all on the points at the end of the break. Do that randomizer. And there's Robert Kelly. Playoff ticket insert at a 249. That'll be for the Redskins, Michael Gallucci. Is this a saxy hit coming up? I think so. Ah, uh, it is a saxy hit. Championship ticket 
autograph. Kenny G, 36 out of 49. Lions. Mike Koontz with the Lions. And the next one is, wow, nice. Cracked Ice, Ryan Switzer, one out of 25. For the Cowboys, James Scheisler with that one. Nice one, James. Love those Cracked Ice look. It's been a nice case thus far. So these will be randomized separately because it's serial numbered. Next box. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of officiating, yeah, it's 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 kind of frustrating. I mean, I know that to a certain extent, maybe you know, I'm sure the NFL does want to add a little bit of drama to it, but with poor officiating, that's kind of it's kind of a shame, <laughs> you know. And the rules are just so yeah, the whole catch rule, yeah. Who knows what a catch? I don't know what a catch is anymore. May as well just review every play, you know, and just figure out whether it's actually a catch or not. Like, it's insane. They got to simplify that rule book, I think. Or I think I think NFL doesn't have. Do they not have full time full time referees? Or maybe they do have full time referees. I I want to say there was like some issue recently where maybe. Like, not every ref was, like, a full-time ref or something like that. No, something like that. I'm sure all the playoff refs are full-time refs, but... No, there's there's got to be... There's got to be some changes there. They just, they just need refs who aren't like 80 years old. Playoff ticket, Trevor Simeon, out of 249. That is for the Broncos. That'll go to Aaron Murray. And nice, rookie ticket autograph, Juju Smith-Schuster. Nice. That'll go to the Steelers. That'll be for Mike Bobby. There you go, SWAT. Not bad, not bad at all. Gelo <laughs> so heated about that Chiefs game. He just can't even look he can't even look at football cards right now. Eight out of twenty-five. Nice championship ticket autograph. Raekwon McMillan. Dolphins with that one. That'll go out to Joe Kavanaugh. And we got Malachi Dupree, Bills edition. Rookie ticket autograph for the uh, Bills. 
Adam Kupperman with the Bills. Keelan Cole, rookie ticket autograph. That goes to the Jags. EA with that one. Have not seen any Panthers yet, Sam. Or at least not that I recall. Um, I think people do, Paul Harris. NT Baseball, I think people have been purchasing teams. So if you want to do that, folks, we can definitely do that. And there's Alex Anzalone, or Anzalone. Saints, that goes to Karen. No, Cruz, sorry, your names are right next to each other. And there you are. Yeah, we can do some NT baseball. TJ is definitely into the NT baseball. TJ is even giving away an autographed Raleigh Fingers baseball. For for people in uh, for people in that break. So we can do it. Gilo, unfortunately, we uh, we just sold out our last case of optic. We already busted that one open. No more optic for the time being. Aiden, what's my favorite product so far this year? This year is only six days old. I guess it would have to be contenders. You meant this season? Oh, this football season? I don't know. I mean, I tend to like the higher end stuff a lot. NT football hasn't even come out yet. But I think Optic is always solid. That's a lot of fun. I like the higher end stuff, though. Impeccable football, stuff like that. Not a fan of contenders? Well, the thing with contenders is that that's the whole point of contenders. It's, it's a lot of autographs, you know, five autographs a box, and you get, you get autographs of, like, offensive linemen that you normally wouldn't find autographs for. But the great thing about contenders is that when you get, like, if you get something like this, like Deshaun Watson rookie ticket autograph, like, these are the rookie autos that people will be looking for years down the line. I think Contenders and like Prism would be like that kind of product where 10 years later, if Deshaun Watson turns into, you know, maybe HOF, but you know, something like that, everyone's gonna be like, I've got that Contenders auto of Deshaun Watson graded nine and a half, you know, nine, five, nine, five. That's the one that'll go for the big dollars. There's Team Quaz, 22 out of 25 for the Panthers. That'll be for Sam Golden. So that's that's the lure of um, of contenders. That's why that's why it sells so well every year. A lot of value in it. Eighty one out of two forty nine. Isaiah Crowell. Yeah, exactly, Darge. They definitely hold their value pretty well over time. It's like Bowman Draft for baseball. There's a rookie ticket autograph, Cole Hikutini.
But yeah, I think it all comes down to really, it's a, it's a, it's whatever, whatever everyone's acceptable level of risk is, right? Some people are like, you know what, Joe? I'd rather pay more money and join a high-end NT break and or flawless and do that. You know, some people are like, hey, you know, Joe, I like the friendly price point of contenders. You know, I like that. I like chasing all those big hits. Any guesses on that redemption? So everyone has their different thing, which is fine. Because we got it all. Jaspieshobbyland.com. Danelle Pumphrey. That is a Fly Eagles Fly hit for Rick. There you go, Rick. We've got playoff ticket autograph, Tanner Gentry, 46 out of 99. For Dub Bears, Joseph Johns with that one. We've got Nazir Jones, auto rookie ticket autograph. For the Seahawks, Cruz with the Seahawks. Aiden guessing Gallman or Mac. We have not seen a Mac yet. Uh, Fournette says um, Sam Golden. It's going to be. Sweet Kareem's are made of these. Rookie Roundup autographs. RPS for the Chiefs. Chris Mason, that's Urban. There's the Groosh. Hashtag tighten up, he says. Yeah, great job for the Titans. There you go. You got it. Urban Legend saying, Hunt, please. There it is. Thanks for asking nicely. And there you go. All right, halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. Halfway through this break, we're still we're still uh, at zero. Marlon Max, Mac Browns, or Mac Hollins is still at zero. I took the over. So it's not it's not looking good. There you go, man. Oh yeah, you know, I mean, it's 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 all uh, it's all random. You know what I mean? Sometimes you'll get a great case stacked with all the rookies, you know, and then sometimes you'll get a, a soft case that doesn't have a lot of stuff. But yeah, just because Deshaun Watson comes out doesn't mean you know something else nice won't come out. Yeah, four for four for the last four on for Kareem Hunt, huh? Nice. A hot case, maybe. Feels like a really warm case. I mean, we still have. To, we're still. We're only halfway through, but I, I mean, so far so good. It's definitely NBA Jam. It's heating up. Yeah, we had Kamara. We had Watson. We had the Hunt Redemption. Got the Ryan Switzer Cracked Ice. Oh yeah, the Juju Smith-Schuster, correct. Yeah, it has been a pretty, pretty nice one thus far. All right, here we go. <laughs> no, Aiden, I don't think. 
Not like 12 anymore. Uh, there's Kenny Galladay out of 199 for the Lions. That'll be for Mike Koontz. Yeah, it's a Mackless hot case. And then we've got championship ticket, Calvin Benjamin, six out of 99. It's for the Panthers, for Sam Golden. Still looking for some ink for Sam. A couple inserts thus far. And Mike Williams autograph? Yes. Nice on card autographs. Autograph, Mike Williams. Uh, not at the moment. Boston Graphs. I actually don't load up any of the product on the website. That is not under my jurisdiction. So I actually don't know. But probably not today, though. Amara Darbo. Rookie ticket on card autograph for the Seahawks. Cruz with the Seahawks. Kyle Slaughter again for the Vikings. That goes to Brian K. Yeah, Kyle Kramer saying that the Rams are rattled big time. Yeah, the Rams are down. There's there's speaking of the Rams. There's Josh Reynolds, Rookie of the Year contenders out of 199 for um, Derek and the Rams. Falcons 13 nothing over the Rams at the moment. Halfway through the second quarter. Well, so far, Kyle Crane, I know it's very, still very early in the game. So far, I'm feeling good about taking Atlanta plus six and the money line at plus 190. I'm not feeling good about the uh, about the uh, over under though. I took over 48 and a half. Nice NFL Inc. Gerald McCoy, 177 out of 199. Buccaneers, Justin Gutting. G Lo saying, SWAT saying Falcons can't hold a lead. G Lo saying, savage, you guys. It's saying Falcons will go 28 0 on the Rams, but still lose. That'll help my over. Where'd this Marlon Humphrey come from? Must have been like the last card of that box right there. There you go. Marlon Humphrey, Sanford, popping out of nowhere. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Well, so far in the game, Matt Ryan's 8 for 13 with only 63 yards. Jared Goff only 3 for 10 for 35 yards. This is not the offensive uh, uh, slugfest that we were thinking here. <laughs> yeah. For that Marlon Humphrey card. Um, no one's really rushing the ball. Gurley, 6 carries for 15 yards. Uh, Devonta Freeman only has 7 carries for, uh, for 15 yards. He has a touchdown, though. Julio Jones, only three catches for 37 yards. Um, Mohamed Sanu, only two catches for 12 yards. Nothing's really happening in this game. Except for the fact that the Falcons are up 13-0 on the Rams in the NFC wildcard game.
All right, next box. Good luck. Any guesses on this redemption? Jamal Agnew, rookie ticket autograph for the Lions. That'll be for Mike Koontz. What's up, Max? It's going well. Playoff ticket, Aaron Rodgers at a 249. SWAT going with TJ Watt. Gallman or Mac, again, says Aiden. Could be a Gallman. There's Jeremy McNichols for the uh, Buccaneers. That'll be for Justin Gutting. Urban Legend saying Jamal Williams, but he wants another hunt out of there. Mac saying hunt. We already pulled a redemption of hunt already, but why not two? Maybe a McCaffrey, says Sam Golden. Did he sign or is he a redemption? I don't remember. Hassan Reddick, rookie ticket autograph for Daniel Patera and the Cardinals. Desmond King. Adam Kupperman with the Chargers. Team Quads, Tom Brady, Gronk, James White, Brandon Cooks. That is to 199 for the Patriots. That'll be for Karen. Chris Wormley, another Raven for Last Bod Mojo. Sanford with that one. Uh, you want to look around the store, Aiden? I mean, it's it's really actually not much more than that. <laughs> All right. We have rookie ticket RPS, Wayne Gallman for the New York Football Giants, Karen Steele. Four boxes to go, folks. There is word going, who's reporting this, Paul T? Paul T saying, giving us sort of some TMZ-ish kind of news. There is word going around that there could be a possible relationship between Rodgers and Danica Patrick. There could be a relationship between Joe and Danica Patrick as well. That doesn't mean anything, though. Yeah, isn't Danica Patrick dating that one uh, NASCAR driver? Maybe not, not anymore. Isn't Aaron Rodgers with uh, the actress? Oh, her and Sam's bro. They broke up. All right, well, I'm sorry, not keep wasn't keeping track. Of that, folks. I saw Danica Patrick on a Food Network show, though. I think she did all right.
Hi, thank you. Well, breaking, earth-shattering news, folks. Danica Patrick and Aaron Rodgers may be an item. Well, who's the girl that Aaron Rodgers was with? Did they split too? Didn't he have? Didn't he have a girl that that he would always do like funny like Instagram posts with and stuff like that? I, I'm blanking on her name, but I guess they're, I guess they're not together anymore. Just can't keep track. Sydney Jones, 23 out of 49. For the Fly Eagles Fly, that'll go to Rick. Rick Hunt with that one. Champion ticket autograph. TJ Logan. Rookie ticket autograph for Daniel Patera. Another redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? And Jordan Howard playoff ticket. 107 out of 249. And we've got rookie ticket autograph for Gallucci, Samaj Pirine. Andrew guessing, Andrew Flowers guessing uh, James Conner, Sam Golden guessing uh, Joe Mixon, Kyle Kramer guessing Kyle Kramer, <laughs> Boombox guessing Jack Marius, Tack, I don't even know how to say that, Tack the Ritrix, 30 out of 199, David and Yoku. Rookie of the Year contenders for the Browns. That'll go to Michael Rower. <laughs> what if, like, what if I flip this and says Kyle Kramer on there? Matt Breida playoff ticket autograph out of ninety nine. Zach Zenner says Camo. <laughs> I know, right, TJ? Where was that P Ryan? I, for a second, I thought you had got the Redskins. All right. Uh, R. Joshua Dobbs says Max. And it's going to be rookie championship ticket, rookie championship ticket variation, David and Yoku for the Browns. Cleveland Browns, Michael Rower. Nice one for the Browns. I think there's already a contenders in the store. DeGrouche? Right, isn't there? All right, three boxes go and Flawless is sold out, nice. Fifteen more autographs to go on average. All right, so the Rams are moving things along now. So the Rams are driving and the NT is driving. The optic was great. 
Uh, still no Ot Watson ink? Oh, we pulled Watson before in Optic. A number of times, I think. I don't know. I don't know if in the in if in, in just the last break. But. That's a good question, Kyle. I've not. I actually have not seen any Cooper Cup autographs and contenders. This is our eighth break right now. I, I actually not, none that I remember. If, if he's a redemption, I definitely wouldn't remember. I think I always forget. The, there's no like visual cue in my head, but or maybe someone else remembers. All right. Good luck, everybody. Next box. Chad Kelly, rookie ticket autograph. Broncos, Oppo, Joe Mojo for Aaron. Ooh, Cooper Cup with a touchdown. Jared Davis. Rookie ticket autograph, Lions, Mike Koontz. More points, which will include with that stack of points. Winner take all on the points. Randomizer will be at the end. The Legend of Cooper Cup growing. Dust off your Cooper Cup rookie cards. We've got JJ Watt, Cracked Ice, 15 out of 25, nice. Darji with the Texans. That's pretty cool, that's a good, nice looking one. We got 77 out of 99 team quads for Karen and the Patriots. And here it is, TJ, return of the Mac. Rookie ticket autograph right on the card. Marlon Mac, our first Mac of the break. We are very much on the under in Max, but this is a start. Max making a comeback. Nice one, TJ. And rookie ticket autograph, Aaron Rukowski. That'll go to the Packers. Mario with that one. That's Drift. Two boxes to go, boys and girls. Two boxes to go. Open up both of the last boxes at once. I couldn't handle that stack right there. All right, well, Rams scoring 13-7 now. Joe Hauer asking, what's the big hits from the case? Obviously, Joe Hauer, the Marlin Mack, although we're I took over. We're still on the under on that Marlin Mack. Yeah, we had these guys too. I mean, I got this guy, this guy's okay. Not the Alvin Kamara guy is okay, but more importantly, Marlon Mack. And Joe, you'd be interested to know that some uh, 
Some some Wormleys were in there too for the Ravens. Maybe like three or four Ravens autographs. We have ten more to go, ladies and gentlemen, and we have another case in the store. We can probably do that case tonight, maybe. Possibly. Oh yeah, and that Hunt Redemption. I wish that was a live hit. But yeah, we got a Kareem Hunt Redemption as well. <laughs> Wormleys are in every case. No, they're not. Super short print, Wormley. <laughs> Now, this has been a nice break so far, though, overall. I don't think we've seen a Ma Have we seen a Matthew Days yet? We've not seen a Matthew Days. Maybe not. Um, TJ was mentioning a little while ago, I, I don't think we've seen a printing plate in a little while. Usually they squeeze in a printing plate or a, or a printing plate auto every once in a while, but I feel like we haven't seen one in a few cases. All right, there's the second to last box. Here is second to last box. This is the last box right here. Good luck, everybody. See a lot of ores coming in, so let's see what direction we go. I know Flawless is sold out. So we will do that after... Uh, well, actually, I do need to take a quick little break after this long break. So there's our little schedule right there. Um, we did see, there is a Camara. We did pull a Camara. Have not seen any Trubiskis out of Contenders. I, in fact, I don't know if we've ever pulled a Mitch Trubisky out of Contenders. Huh. Is he even in this? I just haven't seen it. Is he a, is he a Redemption? Maybe if it's a Redemption, I usually forget Redemption. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't remember when I pulled Redemption. It's because it's a blank card with text on it. I don't think we've pulled. I don't think we've pulled any any Trubiskis. Hmm. Joseph Johns has the Bears. Yeah, he's like now. Now would be a good time. I've not seen a Cooper Rush yet. I don't think I remember a Cooper Rush. We did pull a Ryan Switzer cracked ice autograph though. be do on those bear I, I just haven't seen him in ages i just don't remember a mitch trubisky does anyone remember a mitch trubisky out of contenders i personally do not brandon cooks to 99 no the 249 that goes to karen with the patriots playoff ticket autograph or not autograph a playoff ticket insert Another Mac, Mac Hollins rookie ticket autograph. That goes to the Fly Eagles Fly and Rick. Just need two more Macs to get the over. We've been under the last couple times. Chris Carson, rookie, uh, excuse me, rookie ticket autograph for the Seahawks. And my voice is definitely going, ladies and gentlemen. 
It's the end of the week, but it's been a great week. That's why my voice is going. Another Mac? No, but it's a playoff ticket, Brad Kaya. 96 out of 99 for Sam Golden. Not exactly the CMC that he was looking for, but something, a little something. Chad Hansen to catch a pass for the Jets, Jets, Jets. That'll go to Adam Kupperman and his Jets. Redemption, any guesses on that redemption? James Conner guesses Andrew Flowers. There's Quincy Wilson for TJ. Another Gallman or a Mac. Joe Howard also guessing Gallman. Urban Legend saying if you get a Lattimore, I think you'll have hit for the Saints Seahawks autograph cycle. Nice. Championship ticket, 42 out of 99 for Andy Dalton and the Bengals. That'll go to Justin Gutting. And the rookie ticket autograph is for the Chargers. Another Desmond King for the Bolts. Adam Kupperman with the Chargers. Jordan Willis, rookie ticket autograph for the Bengals. That'll be for Justin Gutting. <laughs> Big Boy Zelda sounds like I made dinner, ate it. Hop back on and still contenders. Yeah, this is a solid hour and 15 minute break plus randomizers. There's Mike Williams out of 99. It's a nice insert for Adam. Another Charger. Wow. Four out of 10 NFL Inc. Melvin Gordon. That is strong and unexpected. I didn't, I didn't even know he was in this set. Adam Kupperman with the NFL Inc. 4 out of 10, Melvin Gordon. Nice. It's pretty strong. I'm into that. It's pretty nice. Another Chris Wormley for Sanford and the Baltimore Ravens. Last spot mojo striking again. The redemption is going to be. Rookie of the Year contender autographs, Adoree Jackson for the Titans. That's unexpected. It's a nice finish. Titans finishing off the Chiefs. EA Sports. It's in the game. He's happy about his team.
All right. Winner take all the points, and we've got a couple randomizers right here. So let's set up random.org. Let's flip over to the list. We were under on max, so sorry TJ, sorry Michael Gallucci. We were under on the max, just two. Let's get some new dice, and we got one, two, three lists. Left, right on the randomizer. And then Titans Chargers on the one that was numbered. And then everyone has a shot at the points. So let's get everyone's names. Let's randomize each list. Two and a four, six times. Left and right first. One, two, three, four. There's three, four, five, and six. Right side will get them. So for all these regular cards right here, the right side teams will get these round number cards. This one was serial numbered, 13 out of 199, so that's why we're doing it separately. Once again, two and a four, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Titans with that one. It's a Titans kind of day. Eric with the Titans, 13 out of 199, round numbers. Winner take all on the points. Everyone has a shot at the points. After, once again, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Name on top is Chris Mason, or there you go, Urban Legend. A little bonus points coming your way. That's it, folks. Contenders number eight in the books. Uh, we have another contenders in the store right now, probably selling out as we speak. So check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com, and we'll football with you next time. Bye-bye.